Hi everyone, I am back with another video. This time it is my monthly coloured pages video. So I managed to get 14 pages done again this month, which I'm really pleased with. Um, my last one I actually just finished a couple of hours ago, which is this one. So here's my stack of books. I am going to move them all to the side and let's get into the video. So I'm not going to do them in any particular order. Uh, I'm just going to go through them. So this one I finished this morning, as I said, just a couple of hours ago. And this is Best Dressed Pets Creative Haven by Marjorie Sarnat. And this was a buddy colour with Ashley from Ashley's Colouring Creations. Just going to pop a light on and see if it's... There we go, a little bit brighter for you. So, yeah, I did this with Ashley's Colouring Creations. Go and check out her channel and her Instagram. She is co-hosting Jade in June with me. Um, I will leave a link to that video down below. And, yeah, so this was a buddy colour. Um, I picked out two pages. Or... Um, yeah, I picked up two pages. It was either going to be this one or this one. And I got Ashley to pick. And her son actually picked this one because he loved the little turtle. So we ended up doing this page. And yeah, I like how it turned out. Um, I tried to do like a tortoise shell cap. Um, I'm not too pleased with the way he turned out. I love his tail. And I love my dog. It reminds me of a St. Bernard. And yeah, I, I like the rest of it. But So that is my first page. My next one I did last night with Ashley. And that is this one. We did a five pen challenge. And on this one, we actually picked um, four alcohol markers and a glitter gel pen. So I picked purple from my glitter gel pen. And then the other four colours were actually picked completely at random. And I picked out one cool grey three in the pro marker. And the others were purples. And I was actually thinking, oh my gosh, what a nightmare. I've picked out three purples. This is going to look awful, but I really like how it turned out. I love these sparkly gel pens. These are the Arteza glitter gel pens that I featured in my video yesterday, my supplies video. And yeah, they are really sparkly, so I'm pleased with how that turned out. Um, I do have another page in this book actually from the 19th of May. It was another five pen challenge with Ashley and this time I was a bit of a plonker <laughs> because I swatched my colours on this page only realising afterwards that I'd destroyed this page. So yeah. I'm, I'm, there may be a way to try and fix it, but at this moment in time, I'm just like, whatever. It's a £4 book. <laughs> so these were the colours that were picked at random. And to me, it, it looks like a lollipop with like a Campino sweet in the middle. I don't know if anyone remembers those sweets. Um, I think you still get them in America. But I think they're called something else. But yep, yeah, that was that one. And I think that was all we did in this book this month. <clears throat> Next I have Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And I showed a glimpse of this in my video yesterday as a teaser. Because I was testing out my new Castle Art pencils. And this is how it ended up. Again, I used the Arteza glitter gel pens in it. 
I used a gold Posca and a white Posca and also the Castle Art pencils. These ones up here were actually Arteza pencils as the 24 set I'd got didn't have reds. So yeah, that is that page. That was finished yesterday. So next we have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I started this on the 8th of May and finished it on the 12th of May. And it is this page here. So for this one I used my handmade gold watercolour paint. Um, I used some Derwent Academy soft pastels for the background. Um, I used my um, Piebo uh, watercolours. And a little bit of white Posca pen. And some silver glitter gel pen. And that is that page finished. So that was that one. Next we have Mythomorphia. Now Kate's Colouring Haven, go check out her channel. She um, was hosting Maymorphia for the month of May. So myself, my partner Steve and our friend Lynn did three pages from Mythomorphia. The first one was the unicorn let's see if I, no this one so this was a double page spread and uh again i used for this i think i used polychromos pencils i used uh the pabio watercolors i used my handmade gold watercolour um, I used some portrait oil pastels for the background and a white Posca pen and I'm really pleased <laughs> with how this turned out we all three of us did this and all three of us done it completely different and they all look amazing so that's that the next one I did in here was, did I only do two in here? No, I did one in Worlds Within Worlds, sorry. So we did two in Mythomorphia. The next one is our Orc. Again, my, my fiancé and Lynn did this one all together. And I believe I finished this yesterday or the day before. So I've got my homemade gold watercolour, some silver metallic gel pen, um, my homemade blue watercolour, and uh, the portrait, no, portfolio wax oil pastels even in the background. And this was watercolour here. So yeah. Really like how he turned out. And I started him on the 24th. So he took three days to finish. But yeah. I love how he turned out. All three of us used a different colour palette as well. So that is Mythomorphia. The next one was Worlds Within Worlds for Maymorphia. And we all did the snow globe. I wanted to do um, a different kind of background for this one. So I drew a table. My fiancé helped me with the dimensions because I'm absolutely rubbish at three dimensional things. <laughs> um, I hated design technology at school. But I painted the background with um, Arteza gouache. Um, paint and I believe that's some of my homemade gold watercolour again and then 
I used a glitter gel pen in here, um, some more watercolours down here and in here, and I believe the tree and the other bits of colouring in here were polychromos. So yeah, I really like my table, how it turned out. It's better than sort of just floating. <laughs> so that was that one. Really shocked I got through three Kirby pages this month, especially one of them being a double page because, you know, they take time. <laughs> Next we have a whip that I had had for ages. I bought this book back in March, April time when I went down to Cambridgeshire to visit my parents. And this is Fant uh, Fanciful Dogs in Secret Places. I will leave links to these books below. And I finally finished my Native American doggy. Love how he turned out. That again is my homemade gold watercolour. And I also used Brute Funa pencils. And I believe some either Arteza or Polychromos in there as well. So that is that page. Next we have 50 Romantic Mandalas and Hearts Designs by Camellia Angel Cova. This was another Buddy Colour with Ashley. A five pen challenge which I have called Jungle of Love. And I used Arteez Everblends for this in the numbers A758, A412, A253, a555 and A5959. So these was the five colours I picked at random. And I really like how that turned out. Be sure to check Ashley's videos because she'll be showing her versions of our five pen challenges as well. Next we have this one. Now I did a hair tutorial from this book. Um, not sure where that page is, but I finished the other page in here, which was my Snow White. This book is called Pretty Princesses and is volume one. Again, I will leave the link to this below. I got this from AliExpress and it was about £20, which is a bit hefty. For a colouring book but there are 200 pages in it so yeah there is my Snow White I did her with Polychromos I believe so that is her next we have Adorable Owls by Jade Summer and this page was for the Buddy Colorist Group that I'm admin for. And this time I set us a colour palette challenge. So here's the colour palette that we that we had. And this challenge is still running actually. It's from the 15th to the 30th of May, but I'm letting it run until the 31st. And we were allowed to use these colours plus black and white and skin tones. And this was the page I coloured with it. So for this one I used Pro Markers and Spectrum Noirs. And also some Glitter Gel Pen. And I believe that was the Pentel Dual Metallic Glitter Gel Pen. This is Camellia Angel Cover's 50 Dream Catchers to Colour. And this was a buddy colour with Lynn. Plus, I think there was a couple of other ladies in the Buddy Colorist Facebook Messenger group that um, coloured this one along with us. I used Spectrum Noirs, Pro Markers, Polychromos, Pentel Dual Metallic, Silver Metallic Gel Pen, and Derwent Academy Soft Pastels for the background. And that is that one quite happy with how that turned out. 
So that is that one. And then the last book that I have is 50 Spring Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cover. As you can see, I did quite a few camellias this month. And this was a buddy colour with Lynn again. And I can't remember if it was just me and Lynn or another lady too. But it is this page. And I use Spectrum Noirs, Pro Markers, Brutifuna pencils, the Pabio watercolours and a 0.8 white jelly roll pen. Just for some little highlights. So that is all my pages for the month of May. <laughs>